Here we are again, Canadian Wrench. Uh, I bought another project. Big surprise. It's a 1970s Gazelle, which is a copy of a 1929 Mercedes SSK. Apparently the last car that Porsche uh, designed for Mercedes. So, this is it. This is the way I bought it. Other than just lifting up the side of the tarp, and looking, lifting up the back to make sure the engine turned over. That's all I did. Uh, I've barely seen inside. I've never sat in it. I've opened a few cupboards. Well, the trunk and the back. Now, we'll get rid of that top. Boom, there we go. All right, so here it says, Gazelle. Lots of little surface rust all over it. Well, lots of shiny bits to uh, clean up if that's what you like to do. Driving lights. This Gazelle's on a Volkswagen chassis or a Volkswagen uh, floor pan. These are the make it go supersonic fast. <laughs> Here's inside. So these are the spokes, they go on the rims. So I'll just pull one out here. So you have that nice spoke looking rim. And some center caps and whatever else in there. There's the wood dash, wood steering wheel. All very nice. That seat, oh, that looks lovely. Yeah. Uh, big back seat for your burly friends. Yeah, I don't think so. Ripping the roof, easily fixed with duct tape. Rear window that you can almost see through, but not quite. And here's the other side. And actually, it's not that bad. Again, the gazelle. That light there, I'm gonna say it's from a Mini. Mark one, Mark two Mini. Here's the engine. It's a Beetle 1600. As simple as they get. And there is a number on the engine, that's how I know what it is. And it's right down in here. There we go. If you really must see it. There you go. All right. Back around to the front. Flip these clips. And I think this is a two-hand lift. So I'll lift this up. There's the hood. Removed. So there's a the spare light. I guess that's for the rear bumper that's here. And a headlight out of who knows what. And this actually lifts out as well, this tray. So let's lift that out and we'll see what's under there. All right. So what do we got? We got a fuel cell, which is here. Fuel tank, sending unit on it. A piece of pipe, which is probably the uh, Hold the hood up, maybe. I don't know, or I don't know. Uh, there's your fuel filler neck here. So it looks like it fills up at the front there somewhere. Uh, master cylinder, steering column, lots of nice wiring. Relay center with one relay in it. One hanging beside it, just for fun. Oh, it's got an interior light. And it's got another interior light, whoa, fancy. That's a two interior light, fancy car. There's the pedals down there. A couple more relays. Fuel filter right here. Mm-hmm. 
So a little bit of fun here. Oh, and let's look at what these supersonic tubes go to. They go to nothing. Yep. Maybe to help cool your feet down, that's about all they do. But hey, it's a fun little project. Quick look from the other side. And we got the old bag of washer fluid there. And washer pump. So it has a hose going from the bag there, but then it goes no further. So it just squirts on the on the bottom there. And I imagine it's supposed to go through that hole and up to that jet. And squirt your windshield. Now it's got a handle that doesn't work. Little WD on that. Or your favorite penetrating fluid, I guess. AM FM cassette. Doesn't plate doesn't get any better than that. Wow. And an ashtray. Yep, it's from the 70s. Standard transmission. It's got seat belts in it. Let's see here. Oh yeah. GM seat belts. It is classy. And we got which looks like a furnace vent or something like that on the side. I mean air cooling system on the side. Hey, it's a pretty cool little car, actually. And there we go, 1970s Gazelle. If you haven't seen one, there you go. And if you need to own one, give me a shout. It's for sale. Spare tire goes there. It's a beauty. You need it. And there we go. Like, share, subscribe, make a comment. Thanks. See you again.